involved the fire trucks going to kids' birthdays. Uh, uh, there was some, I think it, in my opinion, it was a little bit much. I did contact the governor's office directly. Uh, the executive order 104 does not prohibit that, but they ask that we keep it in, uh, under control and and uh, keep it as a small, a smaller event, uh, if at all possible. But that would be, in my opinion, no more than two or three fire trucks in the neighborhood of that particular fire department. Uh, so, what do you think? Yes. Again, I. I I'm for it. Um, I happened to be out uh, over the weekend when the fire trucks didn't hit our street, but in a street up the road. And my neighbor was out with their four-year-old kid and uh, son, and, and he was ecstatic. He wasn't even in the party, technically. He was ecstatic. And he asked, what's happening? What's happening? And I told him that, you know, someone's having a birthday, and because you can't have parties, you can uh, get the fire department to come. And he was all excited about that because he did have a birthday about three weeks ago and nothing happened. You know, his mom made a cake. So I'm for it. I'm so I, think we should, I think we should limit it to, to no more than three trucks and, and let the uh, fire department use their discretion on how they schedule it or not. Yeah. They might not want to do it, but I want to give them some clear guidance on this. So there's no confusion and that we all are on the same page. Is that another guest come through? I think that yeah, they're equally the concerned with the social distancing, uh, the fire department themselves. So, I mean, I, I think it's a great thing. I have a, my son's birthday is mid month next month. So I got nothing. So the fire trucks are going to be <laughs> awesome. They, they love the Easter bunny. The Easter bunny came through. They didn't even see the Easter bunny because we're on the opposite side of the street. They were jumping up and down. They were so excited. So, I mean, as long as they're following the rules, the laws, then. Yes. Okay. That, well, that, I, that's a good point. It's always a caveat. So when it comes to ambulance uh, squads, police departments, and fire departments, there's some discretion that they use. I mean, how can you have a fire and tell the firemen they have to be six feet apart? That simply does not work. So uh, the firemen have to use their discretion. My expectation would be, and my suggestion or recommendation to the fire department would be, one person in the truck, you go to the firehouse, you bring the truck, each person brings the truck, they make their round wherever they're going and they're done. So there's no meeting, uh, there's no socializing, and they, they keep their social distancing as uh, much as they practically can under the circumstances. And I, I don't think that's unreasonable to have them do that. I don't either. I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with it too. Well, I'll entertain a motion so that we're clear and the council is in agreement that we're going to do that with very close controls. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I will talk to the chief, the respective chiefs, tell them what we talked about. Uh, I don't need 47 vehicles. I think it should be, uh, you know, one or two or three fire truck can make a lot of noise. I think that really impressed the kids. And, and when you see their faces, when that truck goes by and they blow that loud siren and see them lights, it just lights up their life. I mean, uh, I think it's important for our children, especially. It took us one or two times to get used to it.